Last week, the ANZ got into a spot of trouble when it revealed that it had been shortchanging some of its mortgage customers. They were being charged a little bit more than they should have. To talk about what they're going to do to make sure this doesn't happen again, hopefully, I'm joined by our banking reporter, Clancy Yates. So Clancy, what's ANZ doing about it? Their real focus, Kai, is stamping out this scope for human error by removing manual processes. So. They've launched a, a sweeping review of all their deposit accounts, their home loans, their small business products, and they're really just making sure that all of those products are living up to what they say they would and paying people the right amount. And they're also trying to reduce that scope for human error by automating more processes and having the, the right checks and balances in place just to make sure this kind of thing doesn't happen. Okay, and obviously they're, they're actually trying to get on the front foot here, and we know that this has happened with other banks before, and they haven't all handled it the same way, have they? That's right. The problem here was with offset accounts, and we had the Bank of Queensland last year um, encountered a similar problem. Um, they were basically not charging the right interest rates on their offset accounts. And then the National Australia Bank, their British operations were fined last year by the, uh, the regulator over there for, again, uh, interest rate problems. And not being quite so transparent. But that's right. But rather than trying to get on the front foot like this, uh, NAB didn't always um, compensate people appropriately. They sort of, uh, according to the regulator anyway, they let it slide for a bit, a bit of a time. Therefore, they got pinged with a fine of several billion, several million pounds. Okay. So you can understand why a lot of customers would be concerned. Now, for people back here in Australia, how worried should they be about this? Because you've been speaking with ASIC. Yeah, look, unlike in the UK where NAB was fined, ASIC hasn't imposed any sanctions on ANZ in this case. They're happy with the way ANZ's handled it. They're happy with the, the response that they've put in place, this review. Uh, and then more broadly on the offset accounts, they're not concerned that there's a systemic issue there. Uh, they say there's always going to be a risk um, when there's you know, a lot of manual, manual processes. processes. Yeah. But as long as banks keep trying to automate them as much as possible, that's a positive thing.